Hey y'all, it's Paul, and welcome to the couch. As you know, it's been quite a while since I posted an episode of the couch. If you're wondering why that is, please go to my daily vlogs channel and talk all about it. It's good times. If you notice it's a little bit bare on the set of the couch, it's because I just got this new apartment and I'm still decorating and crap like that, but, you know, eventually there will be throw pillows and perhaps a blanket or a drapery of some sort, a painting in the background somewhere, a very beautiful painting, and then I'm thinking, like, you know, just a bunch of rattlesnakes, just right here, you know, and they're kind of out of the shop, and every once in a while, just a you know what I mean? And then I'm also thinking that I'm gonna get, uh, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's gonna, you know how, like, talk shows, they all have, like, a set, like, a, a guy that they, you know, when they, when they can't talk, they just pass it on to the next guy. They have, like, a co-host. Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger will be my co-host. He'll sit right off camera. And every once in a while when I'm just like, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Arnold, everyone. <laughs> and then we'll have to ship him off to, uh, it's not like a prison anymore, but he'll just wander. So as you know, on December 21st, the world will end, because it is 2012. I don't know if you've noticed this. You ever noticed that, like, back in 2008, when they started talking about the Mayan apocalypse in 2012, everyone was, like, head over heels about it, but now that it's happening, and now that it's 2012, December, like, no one cares. So some people think Jesus gonna, is gonna come, and it's gonna be the second coming, and the world's gonna end. Some people think that zombie apocalypse is gonna happen. Some people believe that there's gonna be an asteroid coming from space and hitting us on Earth and wiping out all human existence. Some people think that, like, computers are gonna get to take over the world, you know? And they're gonna be talking like, 101010101, and we're just gonna be like, I don't understand you, computer, and then because we don't understand them, they're gonna kill us. Some people think that dinosaurs are gonna come on that asteroid that I said before, and, you know, spread, and then there's gonna, it's gonna be Jurassic Park up in this his house. Some people think that leprechauns are going to finally get fed up with people searching for their pot of gold and eating their lucky charms, and they're gonna come and, you know, take their lucky charms back from grocery stores and then beat us to death with said lucky charms. Or pots of gold. I'd rather be beaten to death by a pot of gold, personally, because that's, like, more classy, you know what I mean? Cereal, pot of gold. Some people think that all the dogs in the world are just gonna start humping each other, and that's gonna make that's gonna cause a lot of distraction on the road. Imagine you're driving and you look to the right, and there's just a, like 50 dogs humping. Then you crash your car into other cars or houses, and then that just kills all of us except the dogs. They're having a good time. They're the new supreme race. Some people think that when we die in video games, you know how we keep on living? Well, some people think that we actually die, and that decreases the nerd population, therefore the smart population, right? You following me? Good. And therefore, because I'm not following me, I have no idea where this one's going. I think the biggest sign of the apocalypse is that Hostess went out of business. In movies and crap, the one food that's like supposed to still be around after the apocalypse is, is Twinkies. And now they're gone. Like, what are we gonna live off of? What are we, as human beings, gonna live off of when Twinkies are gone? Ho-Hos? No, they're out of business, too. They're gone. Mike and Ike's? Oh, I'm sorry, they split. Gone, too. You know, if Hostess and Mike and Ike's have gone out of business, salad doesn't stand a chance. Now it's time for the Paul Davis Griffin Picture of the Week. Now this is a picture of the largest swimming pool in the world. In the entire- look at that! There's like, boats in there? That hotel is huge. Now, I didn't do a whole lot of research into this picture, okay? I have no idea where this is. I have no idea what it's for. I don't know its birthday. I don't know its name. You know? I'm not gonna call it back. But if- I mean, if you have information on this picture, you know where it is. Post in the sumo thong. Tell me all about it. You know what? If you live there, post in the sumo thong as well. And tell me all about how you live there. Because then I'm gonna come visit you, swim in this pool, and then we'll just hang out and have schnapps. Cherry flavored schnapps from Georgia. Shout out to Georgia, I guess. I'm sure what they didn't tell you about this picture is even though it's the largest swimming pool in the world, I bet it's no different from other swimming pools. I bet it's still 90% urine. 90% kid pee. You know what, I know what you're thinking. A little bit of pee, one person pees in that pool, it's not gonna matter. It's gonna be like 0.000000001% pee. But you know what, that pee adds up. 
The next day, another kid pees. Then it's point zero 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 zero. However, freaking many zeros. Two percent. Uh huh. And it's only a couple days until it becomes two percent. And then a couple of years go by. You know, a couple couple generations of this pool being here. Then it's gonna be just ninety percent pee. And I bet that's happened already. I bet that's already ninety percent pee. And I'll swim in it anyway because it's huge. I don't even care. I wonder if there's fish or a shark or a whale. I'm just getting ahead of myself. Florence Lane asks, Hey Paul, please give us a shout out and answer this. Shout out to Florence Lane. If you, we are a nipple, would you be the left or the right question mark question mark? Thanks, XX. To be completely honest, I've never thought about which nipple I'd be. You know, the right to the left. Stage right. This is the stage right nipple and this is the stage left nipple. You guys are audience right now. Theater! I guess the only like determining factor on which nipple you would be is if you're right-handed or left-handed. The person whose nipple you are, are they right-handed or left-handed? Now, I'd say the majority of the people in the world are right-handed, and therefore I'd want to be the left nipple. Mostly because I think I'd stay out of the way that way. Huh. <laughs> like, I mean, daily activities are done with your right hand if you're right-handed, right? And I'm sure that nipple gets in the way, I'm sure it gets bumped from time to time. I'm sure it has some bumping. Like, if you're writing, and then you slip, and you're, ah, you know what I mean? Like, that, that happens, I'm sure. You know, I bet in the stripper community, it's a big deal. Like, I'm sure if you're milking a cow, I don't know how you milk a cow. And plus, this looks weird. I look like Steamboat Kid. So, to answer your question, I believe I'd be the left nipple. The left nipple. The left, left pippins. That's not, that's not an actual name for nipples. Pippins is, has never been used before, but you know what? I like it. 